All right, I am looking at a symbol today because somebody reminded me yesterday that I haven't done a symbol video in a while. So if you're not familiar with the way symbol works, um, I'll leave a link in the description and maybe up there in the corner to a previous video where I went through more slowly explaining the rules of how symbol works. Um, and I just finished eating pizza for lunch, so I'm gonna start with pizza even though it might not be a great starting word. I don't really care. Um, okay, so I'm gonna assume the, the hearts are yellow maybe? and probably not Z's, so maybe those are I and A? That could be good. Um, what if we did something like Asia? No, they can't be, uh, one of them has to be an A and one has to be an, I was gonna say Asia's, but one has to be an A and one has to be an I. We could do something like a fix, that would be good. Let's try that. Okay, so I think the star is the green, so the first letter is an A. Now the fourth letter was in pizza, is not an A, is not an I, is not a Z, so it has to be a P. So we've got A something something, P something. So that's interesting because what's gonna come at the end? We could have an S or an H. Guess we could have like an O maybe. There's not too many things that could come after, or, or an E. An E might be good. Like, a gape, maybe? A gape could be good. Let's try that. Okay, it's not a gape, but we do have the A and the P. The third letter is a G or an E. Okay, probably not a G. So probably an E. So we're looking at something like this, adept. Adept. Let's go with adept. I think that's probably it. Yeah, it was it. All right, cool. Adept. So pizza worked out as a starting word, even though it's not a great starting word normally. But with symbol, um, in some ways, using a less common letter can be helpful because, you know, once we got some yellows, there was a pretty good chance they weren't the Z's. So that narrowed it down a little bit. So I guess in some ways, maybe that's a decent strategy. Of course, you don't want to use too many unusual letters. Uh, the double Z probably wasn't great. If you use too many unusual letters, then you're likely to only get grays, and then you don't have very much information, so. But anyways, let me know how you do with today's symbol. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. So the way this works is it's like normal Wordle, but one of the clues is a lie. Ooh, okay, so. So we know the T and the O are in different words. We also know that there's two O's. Blank. I don't think that's, I mean, we can't do blank, so I don't think we can do A and C. This works just like normal Wordle, except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're going to get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are.